Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever been to a class reunion or a big family reunion, like extended family? You know, where one where you hadn't seen people in forever in a day. And, and when you have, if you've gone, have you ever had that experience where people dismissed who you had become because they just wanted to dwell on who you used to be? Uh, I'll, I'll confess, uh, I haven't been to a class reunion. Uh, my high school class was rather apathetic and they never put on a big reunion, but I, I wasn't interested in going anyway because I was a loser in high school and I didn't really want to go back and revisit that. And I didn't need to go and get people's approval of who I've become, so it just never appealed to me. Uh, but here's the thing. Jesus, who is the Son of God, Savior of the world, who's the Messiah, who's the miracle worker, who has thousands of people coming and thronging to him, went home to Nazareth, and they dismissed him. Here's what Matthew 13 says, beginning at verse 53. It said, When Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there, and coming to his hometown, he taught them in their synagogue, and, and they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are all not his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And listen to this. And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Now, it doesn't say if it was the people's unbelief and they just, so he couldn't or whether he just chose not to. Uh, that's not the, the point yet that I want to talk on. The, the thing is this. Jesus was this life-changing dynamo and people dismissed him. So if you've experienced this life-changing relationship with Jesus, understand there are going to be some people who rejoice at this change in your life. There's going to be some people who are intrigued by this change in your life. And they're going to listen. And there's going to be some people who are dismissive and even derogatory about, you know, this new boring version of you that won't go and indulge in evil with them anymore. It, it doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about what they think because you're following Jesus. And as you follow him, uh, just understand he's going to bless you and he's going to lead you. Uh, and just know that if it happened to... Jesus, it can happen to you. And if it happens to you, then endure well, follow Jesus, and he will lead you to life. I hope that helps. You have a great day.